from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Saturday, October 5th. Okay, so we have the moon in Scorpio energy here all day, which of course is going to intensify our inner realm. It's going to put a spotlight, if you will, on where it is that we have to ask some very deep seated questions in order to get the answers that we need in order to make an informed decision, informed choice point. The Scorpio energy has us unearthing all kinds of hidden details, all kinds of little bits and pieces of the blockages of the darkness of the old programming still alive and well within us, preventing us from actually moving on. And of course, this whole point of the moon and Scorpio is to have a major change, a major transformation in our inner realm, emotionally and spiritually, the change has to happen within us before we're going to see it outside of us. So there's definitely going to be a lot of, let's call it detective work going on over the next couple of days, either again, kind of unearthing bits and pieces and parts within ourselves or in relationship dynamics, in situations, if you will, we have the ability to kind of peel back the hidden layers of situations and circumstances that again, have us hella confused. With all of that being said, there are 10 different aspects popping off here today. Nine of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in the Scorpio energy going to make a positive interaction with that north node in Aries energy. We are thinking about our future. We're thinking about the options and opportunities that we currently have available to us to move on, to grow, to heal, to fix, to repair certain situations and circumstances that we've been banging our head against a wall about. We're open to suggestions. We're open to different perspectives if it means that we actually get out of this funk, get out of this situation get out of this circumstance. So we're starting to kind of see where there's an intensity, a pull, if you will, for us to kind of wrap things up in order for us to get the party started, initiating a new path, a new direction, where new goals, new missions, new purposes await us. The moon in Scorpio then going to make a positive interaction with the sun in Libra energy. Anytime that the sun and the moon are coming together, there's going to be an epiphany. There's going to be an awareness. There's going to be an aha moment, especially on where it is that, again, there is this intensity, this emotional pull for us to wrap certain chapters up in order for us to feel stabilized, which, again, very hard to come by here in Libra season in order for us to now pivot and start building towards something new. This is going to illuminate new wants, needs, and desires, and equally illuminate what needs to stay, what needs to go, what we have to put behind us in order for us to actually move on. The moon and Scorpio going to make an awkward interaction with Neptune, who is retrograde in Pisces energy. This is going to definitely intensify our intuition, our vision, our creativity, our dreams in order for us to conjure up again, a little bit of a vision, a goal, a dream for us to remind ourselves what it is that we're working towards, what it is that we're sorting through, what it is that again, we have to find the answers to some of these very important questions before we can actually take action and make moves to bring some of these goals, visions and dreams to life. The moon in Scorpio then going to try and beautiful interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in Pisces energy. Now, this is a try and it means that there is like minded elements working together to help us grow, to help us heal, to help us move on. Water, of course, purifies us, cleanses us from the heaviness, from the weight, from the confusion, if you will, and puts us in a beautiful situation to again, get emotionally, intuitively fine tuned with our higher selves, understanding what it is that we want to build, what we want to create, what we want to bring to life. This is definitely going to help us focus on what our long term vision actually is what we feel called to do called to pursue and in turn, showing us what we need to close the door on what we need to move away from. We have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in the Scorpio energy, making a positive interaction with Jupiter, Jupiter being the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings. He's in this Gemini energy, another reason why we feel very, very divided on choices, options, opportunities, paths, directions. 
This particular interaction though is going to highlight where it is that we're having a little bit more faith, more faith within ourselves, more faith within other people, situations and circumstances working out in our favor, faith in humanity. Now here's the thing, we're giving ourselves, other people, situations, circumstances, the benefit of the doubt. We're understanding that we are willing to compromise, to negotiate, to meet ourselves or other people in the middle in order for us to get on the same page so that we can cooperate and start working together for a common cause. The moon is then going to make an interaction with Jupiter and this is going to really instill a new level of confidence, a new level of optimism within us and really illuminate where it is that we've learned some tough love life lessons in the past that we're now integrating here in the present moment. We know better and now we're willing to actually do better. The moon is going to come up to bump into team up with conjunct Venus, who again in the Scorpio energy. This is why we're having the heart activations. This is why we're again tipping the scales, trying to get them in balance, realizing where it is that we're no longer connected to certain people, places and things, where it is that we have new wants, needs and desires for us to fulfill. And because this is a conjunction, this is just as much of an ending as it is a beginning, meaning our emotions are going to be tensified. We are going to realize where it is that we've been holding on to the old, beating a dead horse, so to speak, even though we've outgrown it, even though we have nothing to gain from it. Of course, Venus is all about relationships, all about money matters, all about values and what makes her happy, what makes her feel safe, what makes her feel secure. So again, we're starting to unearth certain realizations within our own damn selves of what it is that we actually need more of in our lives to feel all of those things and put into perspective some of the things that aren't quite cutting it, that aren't making us feel safe and secure, that aren't contributing to our overall happiness and joy. And of course, those things have got to go. The moon and Scorpio then going to make a positive interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, who is in this Libra energy. Again, we're trying to see everything from all angles. We're trying to see both sides of the coin. We're trying to, again, weigh the pros and cons of situations and circumstances in order for us to find common ground. But we're not making any decisions under this influence as the Libra energy is hella indecisive. We are constantly talking ourselves into one thing and then constantly talking ourselves out of it. The moon being our heart space, Mercury being our head space, they're getting along. They are kind of trying to get on the same page. They're trying to see where it is that, again, we're unearthing certain information and details that we've been lacking in order to Bring those scales back into balance. We want our heart and head in alignment. The moon is then going to trine Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger. Mars co-rules over the Scorpio energy, so there's a little bit of an intensity here. Mars is in Cancer energy, which is not his most favorable place to be in, but this is a trine, meaning water on water action. Emotionally speaking, with this interaction with Mars, we are getting a little bit aggressive. We are tapping into our warrior spirit. We are recognizing where it is that we're ready to boss up, fight, defend, protect, our values, what is important to us, who is important to us, and what it is that, again, we actually want to achieve, we actually want to accomplish. This is going to put a pep in our step. It is definitely helping us to hone in our passions, our desires, our determination and motivation to actually see something through, even if it's actually just holding the line, holding the space in order for us to, again, fight, defend, protect what it is that we've already built, already created. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Scorpio making a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who was retrograde at the 29th critical crisis karmic degree of Capricorn energy. And Pluto is the main primary ruler over Scorpio energy. So this is going to be intense as well. The moon and Pluto coming together in order to empower us, to 
show us where it is that we have the boss up, take our power and control back over our emotions, over our mental plane, our inner dialogue. And eventually, once that heart and head get in alignment, we are going to be able to have the power and control to take action and make moves in our physical realm, especially once Pluto goes direct here at the end of this week. <laughs> 